Robert Bly says, your wound is your biggest strength. This is a common theme in motivational speaking and writing. If something bad happens to you, you find a way to make it good. Interestingly, I did this in regard to Asperger's syndrome without even thinking much about it. Like I've said before, Asperger's syndrome is a gift. On the other hand, it's also a challenge. So instead of whining and complaining, what's the way to make good of it? I work for the public schools in the special education department. I really found a place there. I thought I was even going to be a teacher, but later I found out I didn't like a lot of the things the school district did. I did love working with the special ed kids and I felt more at home with them than with the other kids. One of the kids I was assigned was this autistic kid. He had major social problems. He was not playing well with his peers. It wasn't because he was mean or vicious, it was just he couldn't find friends very easily. So the special education teachers and the regular teachers were all racking their brains trying to find ways to get this kid more socially involved. Whatever theory they brought in, it just failed. For once in my life, I didn't overanalyze it. I was a special education paraprofessional and they assigned me to him. Maybe it was something in the grand scheme. It certainly seemed that way. Interestingly, it turned all around. Perhaps it was because he finally found an adult he could relate to, an adult he could understand, an adult who understands him. It wasn't so much that I said, hey, I understand what you're going through. It's more of, like the Buddhists say, the lotus flower type thing. You hold up a lotus flower and it's this instant transmission of insight. He went from, as they say, crying after school to rejoicing and telling his parents how much fun he had. The most fun we had was at recess. They really liked it when I played tag with them and that brought in a lot of kids and that got him involved with his peers. And it was great. It was good fun. And it was something these teachers who didn't experience what he did couldn't have done for him. They couldn't have ever imagined it. And no matter how many theories they brought in, it just didn't work. Because of what I experienced, I was able to help it. And that's how you can turn the challenges of Asperger's around. You can turn them around by helping other people in the same position.